A big day for area athletes on the final day of the Iowa State Track Tournament. Let's start with the shuttle hurdle. Sigourney's Girl Squad spent the last two years watching on Championship Saturday after getting DQ'd, but this year they leave as state champs running in one minute and eight seconds. Getting DQ'd the past two years has pushed us to do our best, and I know that even, if, even though we got DQ'd, we still came back and we won, and it's just amazing. <laughs> But Sigourney wasn't done. Autumn Barthelman also took first in the 100 hurdles in 15.26 seconds. She joins her mother, Heather, as a state champion hurdler. She's been working with me since seventh grade, and she was a great hurdler, and she wanted me and my sister to carry it on, and she's been behind us the whole entire ride, and it's just awesome to come home with a state championship. Barthelman also grabbed second in the 100-meter dash, but that's because she was passed by Pekin's Kaylee Linder, finishing in 12.71 seconds. It doesn't feel real at all. Um, obviously, I ran against really good athletes, and to be at the top of that, that's awesome. The two schools did battle once again in the 4x1. Pekin's Kaylee Linder just edged out the competition to finish first in 50.83 seconds and give her teammates that championship feeling. Uh, my sister Kaylee, she's our own senior. She gave me a hug before, right before, and I knew, uh, I knew it was the last time to run with her. And I just knew once I got the baton, I gotta go. We're doing this for them. You can't describe it, and I wouldn't want to do it with another group of girls. And we're just beyond blessed to have this opportunity. Signy's girls finished fourth in that race, and despite bringing just six girls to the state track tournament, they leave with the team title with 48 points. It's amazing. I'm so happy for the girls. Um, we actually don't have a track. It's all torn up this year because we get a new one next year. So that's even, that even makes it better. Quality over quantity, I guess. Then on the boys' side, the Albia boys grabbed their third title of the weekend. 42.67 seconds is good enough for the 4x100 title. And finally, in the last event of the day, Albia did it once again. For the fifth year in a row, the Blue Demons can call themselves 4x400 state champs, winning in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. It's a great honor for us and the community, and I'm glad to be a part of something this special with a group of guys, and I'm glad to be a Blue Demon. I mean, it's an awesome feeling to carry on the tradition. It just proves that the coaches are doing the right things with us. And I know I don't have any doubts that they can do it again next year. Albia finished third as a team with 52 points. Oh, what a great weekend for the kids. Uh, you know, and, and that's what it's all about. We've got some great athletes, and, and they listen to you all year. We get them through some tough workouts, and they prepare themselves for the end of the year. And, and what happened, to, and exactly what happened, they, they primed at the right time. Pekin's boys grabbed second place in 1A with 45 points. Well, we had some misfortunes in the uh, district, and I thought, well, here we go. But, boy, the boys stayed focused, and uh, even up here where we had a couple bad things happen, they kept going, they kept a good attitude and uh, worked together, and look what happens. Well, it's usually brighter this time of year, but that's about the only thing that didn't go right for area athletes in the 2017 state track tournament. I'd say with three team trophies and plenty of top eight placements, this was a successful weekend. From Drake Stadium in Des Moines, Iowa, Darius Joshua, KTVL Sports.